By lightly swelling the flask turns the liquid red. As the oxygen concentration drops, the liquid changes into yellow. Thank you. Pollutants present in the atmosphere like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide. What are the effects? It affects the forest, wildlife, and also it contributes to air pollution. How to detect vitamin C? Here I have two solutions. Solution A and solution B. In solution A, I have Bye, bye, bye. Basically, the chemical traffic light is an example of redox reaction as well as it is an example of clock reaction. Indigo carmine is a redox indicator that changes from blue color to green color in the water in the alkaline glucose solution. This is indicated by the switch bulb and this, and this power is stored in battery. An AC converter is fitted which converts 12 watt to 220 DC to AC. This is your AC to DC converter board. So sorry, AC to AC converter board. It takes 12 volt and convert to 20 volt in AC. We can switch on the bulbs when we need it. Our own appliance. This is power. Our ex headmistress, Mrs. Lizette Atai, to join us yeah. on the stage. As this 
this lamp burns brightly may it remind us of the eternal flame within us our inner strength I request our guests to remain on the dais. Join us as we show. here and how do you feel because 10 schools are participating today well i am representing the directorate of education today here and i am very happy to be here at this school in fact this is the very first time i am visiting i am very much impressed and taken up by the beautiful models you know the science working models they have demonstrated very complex concepts uh, as to how you know solar panels can you know be uh, tapping into the energy source of heat and light and transmitting it on to daily use even the hydroelectric powers and all how it uh, operates and how energy can be you know actually harnessed from there so these are very complex concepts not only that even uh, the biology concepts and all that have been done even the tiny thoughts you know have been totally involved in the entire project and in fact to be very honest with you i consented to be over here only because it was a science exhibition because to my mind i personally feel that you know a science exhibition is the actual showcase of the academic talent of students because there's a lot of hard work lot of cooperation and the entire school community comes together as one community you know to pour in all their efforts and come out with the best so i'm really very impressed i've been very happy here i've been here for almost one and a half hour now going around and i truly would say hats off to all the teachers under the guidance of the headmaster and the management they have put up a truly wonderful uh, exhibition and i would appeal to all the neighboring schools to come and have a look and uh, visit and see how beautifully when the children actually learn they can show what they can do so all power to our children and i hope the school you know continues to grow day by day and achieve the best in academics and all over all the development of the students so, thank you for being here hello everyone i am mrs pratiksha sabnis a science teacher of infant jesus academy welsaw so we have organized a two days uh, science exhibition size scape so we have arranged the experiments and models according to the age so the common misconception that everyone has is that village students or rural background students they are not that advanced in doing anything so we wanted to make a point that our children are good enough and they can do wonders they have lot of creativity i think when you have a look at all the exhibits and the experiments and the way they are explaining you will be in awe of their talent which they have and how how and what hard work they have put in to set up all this exhibits madam uh, now we have seen that a lot of schools have participated you think such program should be held regularly yeah i think this is how the it is a footsteps to go ahead with nep 2020 also that the main aim is that you have to do something learning by doing so that is the main aim with that aim we have uh, arranged this so that we can have more of uh, science exhibition and competitions also wherein the schools meet each other interact with one another and put up their own exhibit that's the way they'll share their ideas and will come up with new things also thank you important is it for yeah? the students yeah actually what happens is when they learn something in classroom they just read and they see and all that but this is a different way wherein they are creating something actually our aim of education is to create something not to just do rote learning so this is how they will create something of their own wherein they have understood the concept and they have made it and they are explaining how it works so that is the aim of education and that is the highest level of uh, 
instructional objective also which we aim to attain. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Sangpo Sattah, how many burgers are there, how many participants are there? How many schools? Good morning. You know, to give an impetus to this NEP 2020, where we decided to give a hands-on project, then chart making, so that the children participate and come out with different ideas of their own. And for this, we invited our guest, our chief guest was Mr. Movin Gudin, our guest of honor was our very own MLA, Mr. Anton Vaz, and uh, Madam Sylvia, the Deputy Director of Education, South Goa. And around 11 schools are going to come to witness this uh, science exhibition of ours, which has been exclusively done by our children with the help of our teachers. In the primary section, our senior students help them to set up their things. And I hope all others, those who wish to come, it is open even tomorrow till 2 p.m. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Because this exhibition, well done by the headmaster with the cooperation of teachers and the students, is unique. They did for the first time in this so we are very sorry to speak to the headmaster who they want to retire end of the next year. That is a bigger setback for us. And to get a new one, we don't know how it works properly. I hope that's what it is. Thank you. I think I know you. Something about the science exhibition today. Yes, the brain uh, stop of science exhibition was our headmaster. Yes. And uh, the and also students helped a lot and also there were a lot of expenses involved where the parents also cooperated, collected funds and we were able to do it. So how important is this science project? It is very important because as I was going through like during the preparations, they said that the students learned a lot with the experiment. It was knowledgeable. It was not only for the public, but the students participated while doing the projects and they learned a lot. Thank you.